Hey guys, man, when I tell y'all this sun is is, is too much. It, it finally started cooling down. Thanks, thanks to the most high. I'm gonna have to start um putting protection on my background. Cause people be trying to um be trying to stalk your ass on these um YouTube channels and be trying to find your whereabouts. That's why I'm gonna have to start um putting like a um blocker on the back of my backgrounds. <sighs> Cause it is but anyways, um, I want to give y'all an update from the prior video that I did about um, uh, programs paying you to move. So somebody finally reached, they reached back out to me and was like, I got disapproved and disqualified for all three. But um, they have sent me a link to um, uh, the other states that I will qualify for. However, when I called them, because they also have a 1-800 number. So for those of you that already have a remote job where you work from home, y'all check it out. It's going to be in the description box to load this video. I'll just give y'all the website. And y'all can tell them that I referred you guys, um, which I won't be able to really say that. So I ain't even going to get into that. But um, I'm going to put the referral link and then I'm also going to put their direct link. So if... It's not the state that you desire to live in, then I'll give you another one. Damn. It's some in my tooth. Anyways, let me let me come back because it is just too much going on. Okay, guys, I'm back. So basically, they um they have an actual 1 800 number, so they are legit. And if that's why I'm doing this video. So for those of you that's already in the remote field and y'all already um been on you on your remote job for a year, you don't even have to be there a year. You can just start it. But she did um mention this. She said you got at least had two paycheck stubs from your remote job. So you have to show those two uh paycheck stubs to the program. And then once they see that, then they'll um go ahead and give you all the um relocation package incentives and all of that for the amount that they said they was gonna give only downfall to this and con is not only do you have to have a remote job already in place and already been making money and have two paycheck stubs to prove it you also have to be within a um a certain income bracket and i think she said you gotta be at least making like seventy five thousand, which is not normal for people that's not licensed in something but for those of you that are big and doing good, y'all normally somebody like that ain't even gonna be looking at my videos in in a in a topic such as this. So I'm gonna have to look more into that and give y'all another update. But for right now, I'm not really sure what is the income requirements because like she was telling me, all states require different things. So she just basically kind of gave me an idea of certain requirements. And she said majority or some of them is 75000 So actually, now that I'm doing this video, I wouldn't even qualify at all because it's even hard to even find a remote job that'll pay that much. The only way you can get a remote job to pay that much is if you get into financial advisor where you're actually working, um, where you already have your, uh, like a law firm, you already have your uh, healthcare agency firm, you already have like a... Um, a financial advising like uh, suite that you meet your clients in. It's got to be a real high up, um, up and up uh, career, or you have to be licensed as a, like a therapist or something. You have to be licensed in to be making that kind of money. Normally, people that are licensed in a niche, they normally can make that with no problem in six figures, a hundred k. They can they can easily make over that. So. That's not to discourage you guys. Um, I'm still going to put in my applications uh, for flex jobs. Um, she told me to go there because they um, will help you get a remote job. So once you already have one or if you're trying to get one, that would be the steps. And then that's when you can go ahead and start applying for the programs. If you don't have that in place, you pretty much don't need to apply because they're not going to approve you. So they are legit. So I just want to get y'all to update that um, programs that actually pay you to move is legit. They actually have a 1-800 number. They have names um, depending on uh, who you who you want to speak with, depending on what you need answered. So I'll put both names down there plus their numbers. And then I'll put the referral link and then I'll also put their direct website. 
And again, you have to have a remote job. It can't be a regular job that you work that's a brick and mortar. It has to be a remote, meaning that you work from home. And you can move anywhere in the United States or country um, with your job. It has to be like that. And you have to make a certain income. And that particular income, I'm not sure about. You will have to go through their uh, programs that are offering in the states that are offering the insensitive and relocation package. And then you'll have to see uh, what is the income requirement. And she did tell me you'll have to scroll down once you get to the page. And then at the very bottom, she said it'll show the um, amount that you have to make. So, okay, guys, I hope that was a help. All right, and I'll be back with the next clip. So, guys, I wanted to talk about something. Let me put it on me because people get, you just got to kind of go with your audience so you don't get bored. I was getting, like, real depressed and stressed out, especially when you trying so hard to get out of a certain situation and you just keep falling back. You, you really have to just fall back and just kind of take a moment to breathe in. But I just wanted to encourage some of you guys that just be frustrated with life. Um, you really um, have to look at it's other people that's doing worse than you. And I got to look at it this way. At least the Most High gave me transportation. Because it couldn't have been worse where I didn't have transportation. I'm literally on the street. Can't get around. Like that would have been a worse situation not to have transportation. Especially in uh, certain states that you could be living in that it doesn't have good um uh, train or or uh, trans public transportation because you got a lot of these small states that are very country and they don't have that like mobility like California, New York, um, Philadelphia, like those up north states where they and Atlanta has made a name for themselves for many many years. If you're not like in those type of states, you need a goddamn car. And if you don't have a car um, that's reliable, you're you you you're gonna be really stressed the fuck out. So I, I look at the situation that the most high got to be with me because I'm making it as um, far as like getting around. So it's people that is living under the bridge that ain't got no way to get around. They just on foot. So I'm still breathing. The most high still gave me transportation to get around. And I gotta look at it that way. At least I got a damn way to get around. Okay, so the good news is I did a little research, um, not research, but I did some more um, digging in. And as I was going through the um, through the website that they the link that they sent me after they told me I didn't qualify for the ones that I put in the application for, I did see something for 50. So that's I think that's like the less that they can uh, for you to make is 50,000 a year. So 75,000 was like the mid range for other states that's offering this relocation package. And then the max was 100K. Now, this is where it is stupid to me. Why offer somebody something like that if they making that kind of money? They can pretty much relocate themselves. But I guess it's like a lot of um, benefits within that because like not only are they giving you a package and incentives and relocation, they offer a, a lot of stuff within that package um, along with you getting a, a, a certain sum for each individual thing, which can add up to like 9000 the most I've seen for the package is like 9000 and then one I saw for $17,000. i am not really completely understanding how they come up with the whole thing, but they break everything down and then they give you like the grand total. And what I saw was 17000 for the grand total, but that's for that particular state for a certain amount of money that you have to make yearly. Now, granted, the, the less that you can make um, to get approved for this program to pay you to relocate is 50000 a year. That's a good thing, um, knowing that, like she said, just show two paycheck stubs because basically you don't have to be, you don't have to make that in order to qualify. So, for example, if you just started the job and you have no proof to show that you made that annually, all you have to do is just show two proofs of um, paycheck stubs. And then I'm thinking that they're going to ask for verification that the company remotely pays you that yearly. So you'll that that's just like when a company um, hires you on, they give you like a contract um, and have you to sign it. And it states what you make hourly or or 
however you get paid because there's so many ways that people pay um employers play employees so um that being said y'all get what i'm saying because i'm i'm kind of over analyzing it like what i tend to do but basically i guess it'll be worth your while if it's something like that because you don't have to prove that you made that in a year if you just started the job you can just show where they um made an agreement that that's what you would make yearly with that company and then you just show two paychecks stubs showing proof that you actually work with them and they're actually paying you so for me i will probably fall up under that um if i can get a remote job because i don't have a job um and i need to get one remotely which is very hard to do um Anyways, guys, I'll be back. Yeah, this is very discouraging. So basically the um, site that they told me that I can get remote jobs on, which I had heard of late jobs, but I never did bother to look into them because indeed to me is better because they don't charge you. And I totally did, was not aware that they actually charge you to use their services. So this to me is just whack. So the whole program to me is not really worth it in my opinion. Um, you can still check it out, but after doing a lot of research, it, it doesn't seem like it's no, um, it's, it's legitimate, um, companies and programs out there, but you have to meet their requirements. So at this point, I just feel discouraged and feel like it's just always a dead end road, always a goddamn obstacle. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna look into it some more and I'll be back with the next clip. Okay, guys, um, after doing some research, um, yeah, it is just like a needle in a haystack. Like, you pretty much got to, I went on Indeed, and Indeed, it, to me, is the only legitimate way to find, like, a remote job. And they have, it's like a needle in a haystack. Like, you got to know your niche and specifically what you apply for, or else you're just going to be kind of like all over the place and it's just going to be, but to help you out, you probably need to use Gemini AI technology through Google and try to use that to help you narrow it down. But even that can be a little annoying if you don't specifically know how to get around as far as like high tech technology swap, if you're not swabby in that. Um, I've been lately having problems with my camera. Um, this is an older phone through AT&T that I had a couple of years and yeah, um, so I'm not long-winded and boring, you guys. Like I said before on the previous videos, you have to make 50000 a year. Um, and the only way that you can find like a remote job, if you're not already in that field, you would need to do uh, Indeed. Because to me, that's the only legitimate um platform that helps you actually find a job. I have found many like little gigs and jobs through Indeed. So that's why I recommend that because you don't have to pay a fee or anything like that. Um, And they also give you exactly what the company is willing to pay you. They give you, they tell you what you'll get annually. And then some just give you the hourly rate, but a um, majority of all Indeed um, uh, employers that, link up with Indeed, they always give you your, uh, what you'll get annually, um, which you can break down on your own once you know what you're getting annually and then find out what you'll get hourly. And then they also show you what you'll get um, hourly, hourly or annually. Either way you cut it, you'll find out, you'll definitely know for sure what you'll be getting. The reason why I'm being a little long-winded about that is because you need to know that up front um, so you'll know if you will qualify for the program before you even apply for the company. So that way, um, okay, they pay 50 to 60 or 75 to 100K. Okay, bam, I'm going to go apply for them. Okay, I got the job. Okay, now need me get like two paycheck subs. Okay, show them that. Bam, I got the um, relocation package. Other than that, um, it's not really, um, I don't see the legitimate um, way of really, I feel like it's a waste of time. It's basically what I'm getting at, unless you have that in place. So it's all is not lost or whatever. That's why I'm still doing this video. So for people that already got it together, this would be good for them. But somebody like me and others that don't have it. Um, to me, it's just a waste of time. In this economy, they continue to say, oh, America is great. Granted, America, um, 
used to be great, but their power has been long gone. And all it is, oh, it's jobs out there. No, the fuck is not. Because it's, it's not easy. And then the jobs that you do get is toxic, messy, and they're on the edge of uh, having a high turnover or having issues with maintaining their employers due to many reasons, uh, um, including the economy being screwed up as it is. And But the government, the president, they um, the powers that be, they want to to fucking continue to tell you, oh, um, the unemployment is um is low. Um, the the um, the jobs are out there. Um, America is great. No, no, it's not. And they're gonna continue to say that until it gets like how it was during the pandemic when the pandemic first broke out. That's the only time they're gonna admit to it, and you're gonna see the whole America city, America and American citizens in total chaos. Other than that, it's just been hard. It's just been hard for me. And I know if I'm struggling, I know it's others out there going through the same exact thing that I'm going through. You get to the point where you be like, I'm over this shit. Like, ain't nothing given. And sometimes you be like, where are you most high? Where are you? And then like when you're doing what he tell you to do, that's when you get challenged and pushed for real. So that's where I'm at right now. That's the vibes that I'm getting. That's, that's what it's looking like. That's how I'm feeling.